Well, today on the show, we have a very special guest. I'm excited. We've spoken to the director of this wonderful film, Lazarus. And now we're talking to one of the stars, Asher Angel. Asher, nice to meet you. And thanks for joining me today on Press Day to talk about this great film. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yes. Well, this is obviously a bit of a departure from other projects you've been involved with. Uh, slightly different, but equally as amazing, I would say for sure. We spoke to the director earlier this week, and I want to ask you the same question. I'm interested to know, what was it that drew you to the project and made you become interested in it and want to be involved with it? I think it was my initial, like, I, I remember reading the script and dissecting the script, and I was very interested in it because it's, I never really played a character like Owen before. This is kind of like my first adult character, so that was super intriguing to me, and and then my initial call with Alec, I mean, he completely sold me. He sounded like he had a clear vision of what he wanted Lazarus to be and how he wanted Lazarus to be perceived. And I just remember the first time I watched the film, that's when I was like, wow, this guy was, this guy knew what he was doing. And I, and I felt the same way during filming. But yeah, I was just drawn to the, char the character. And of course, Ashley Judd, because I've looked up to her work for quite some time and and Katie Douglas and, and Sarah. And, um, it was kind of a no-brainer, to be honest with you. It's a great script. And it was just a great project. It just made sense. Yeah. I mean, it is a fantastic cast. And, of course, you mentioned speaking, Ashley. Speaking of Alec, actually, just texted me. He said, thank you so much for coming out and supporting. I have a great press day. See you tonight. Hi, Asher. Welcome to New York. Nice. <laughs> He's the best. I love said, it. Love it. That's very cool. Well, working on different types of projects, you know, there's the big studio summer popcorn temple films, and then there's films where they're smaller, uh, a little bit more intimate like this one, uh, which I'm told you filmed in Oregon, which was very beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to know for you, there's oftentimes two journeys. There's the journey of booking the role, and then there's the journey of filming. Sometimes yeah. they're intertwined. Sometimes they're separate. For you, as an actor on any project, but let's say this one in particular, are they two separate journeys for you, Asher, or is it pretty much all encompassing from the time you get a call of interest to you rap filming? Wow, that's a really good question. Um, Thank you. Yeah, wow. Um, I think for me, like... I, I mean, whenever I have a character that comes in or something that I'm interested in, the work is the audition. That's it. That is. So I kind of look at, I think, it all the same. Like, when I have an audition come in, like, I'm dissecting it. I'm, I already acted like this is my character. This is my part. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, I guess, just the way I look at it. And the work is the audition. It's It's not when you get on set. It's everything before that and leading up to it so yeah yeah and i've heard too like getting the job is getting the audition right you get the actual opportunity to be in the room that's your job to audition although you are obviously an actor by trade right that's how you pay your bills <laughs> so to speak right it's like the big part i think a lot of times people miss is is getting into the room initially or zoom depending on how you're doing it but to get in front of a director is a big deal well you mentioned working with ashley judge she's an icon for sure what were some things that you gleaned from her as a storyteller yourself perhaps maybe that you could take with you to the next project that you work on um it's so interesting because as an actor it's when you're meeting your co-stars and just every other actor or actress that's around you everyone has a different process I think we know that um but I think that's what I find the most fascinating is like being around fellow actors or actresses and just seeing their process because you can always learn something new and I mean maybe I even incorporate that in my process because I like that enough um I just feel like being on set is like school for me um I show up I'm always prepared but I always love learning um, from everyone around me. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Well, this is such a fun film. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning, you filmed in Oregon. 
uh, the scenery there is just so beautiful. You spend is... a lot of time outside. How how was it filming in Oregon? I'm just interested to know. Because I, I was telling your director, Alec, I was uh -huh. like, it's kind of like Cape Fear meets The Village meets, yes. you know, that. this, that, and the other. A little bit of Hand That Rocks the Cradle. And he said, I get all those references. But it's just such a beautiful vibe. Like, did you have a good time filming in Oregon? I imagine you would have. It's so the nice. best time. Like, it was so just, everything was so smooth and so easy. And especially, like, being outside, like, oh, my God, the weather was just amazing. Like, we had some really cold days. But I don't know. It was just, like, it really felt like we were in Lazarus. And the world that they created and just the scenery and the location, it was it all just puts you in this world as an actor too which helps you know sometimes they're not really able to create it and I felt like while I was in the process of filming and they really helped us by creating this world and and they helped us embody our character and um helped us embody our character to the best of our ability yeah now as I mentioned also there are a lot of different themes in this story too there's the theme of solitude and safety there's a family yeah. Um, theme as well and one of the things i found interesting is how your director chose to tell the story in the sense of there's a lot of twists and turns to this um and a lot of unexpected things that happen towards the end of the film we won't spoil too much <laughs> by the time <laughs> it comes out uh the film will already have been out now he told me there were a couple different endings that this way this could have gone um as an actor and somebody who was in it, are you completely satisfied as a storyteller as far as how the story resolves itself? Because it could have gone a couple different ways. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I know that there were a couple different alternatives, like you said, but um, I think it fits the story perfect. Um, um, oh, I keep forgetting, I, I feel like I can't talk about it, but I can. But no, I, I guess the scene where you know, Lee's on the floor and she is from the gunshot wound and we're all surrounded, surrounding her and by her side. I mean, I think that was pretty unexpected. Like you said, all these twists and turns. So, um, I don't know. I, I feel like it ended per it's a perfect ending. Like, it leaves you wanting more. It leaves you wanting, I mean, it kind of, I feel like says that the, our chapter isn't close just yet. Yeah. We've got more to do. Yeah. It was funny. He asked me, he's like, were you satisfied with the ending? Did you feel resolved? Would you like to have seen it in a different way? And yeah. uh, I kind of feel like it ended the way that it should have. Yeah. Um, again, this whole idea of, of this world that has been wrought uh, and this family that this aunt is protecting these two girls from a world of a quote unquote virus that exists, come to find out it's not quite what we would expect as an audience, uh, you being a massive part of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I had to ask, you know, like as an actor and a storyteller, there are a lot of different elements to your life. And sometimes you may feel creative, you may not feel creative. Is there a Lazarus Asher that you have where you find safety and solitude as a creator? Like where you, it's a safe space mm -hmm. for you, whether you're on yeah. filming or maybe waiting for the next project or is there going to be a Shazam 3? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> do you find a safe space? <laughs> You're funny. I love you. You're funny, man. Um, wow, what is my safe place, my solitude? Um, great question again. Um, Thank you, sir. I appreciate your kind words. I, I'm, a, I'm a homebody. Like, I just love being home and being with my family. Like, I don't know, like, that's what helps me, like, reset, like, especially, like, in between projects and stuff, like, just being home, being with my family, I'm not, like, a big, like, I'm 21, but I'm not, like, a big, like, partier, or, like, go out, like, I look at the next 10 years of my life, this is where I need to make my, my mark, this is where I need to make an impact, so, uh, I'd say I'm a homebody, and I just love being home, and that's my fortress of solitude, and that's, I love being secluded from the world. That's just me, though. Yeah, I would imagine so, because in a career where you're so upfront all the time and you're in the public eye, you get recognized or you're in front of a camera a lot. 
I would imagine the inverse would probably be that, you know, where it's like, I yeah. want to hang out with friends and family. Right. My family. You be know home. what I'm saying? Instead of sure. constantly having to perform. Um, <laughs> I just a little bit. I mean, I, I will say in our household, a Lazarus for us was the Shazam films, the two that we've gotten so far. They were so good and just <laughs> fun and the Philadelphia vibe and just the wintry, like you just kind of feel comfortable. If given the opportunity, I know things are different now in that world, but would you ever consider if given the chance to return to that character, if say tomorrow a script came your way for a third installment of such an awesome franchise? Yeah, I think we know, um, yeah, I'd do it in a heartbeat. I, I would love, I love to return with my, my friend, Mr. Zaki. So, um, yeah, I, I would definitely be open to it. I, I mean, that was a big part of my life, and I'm still very, I still keep in contact with Peter Saffron, and and um, it would be an honor. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, of course, we would love to return and do a third installment. Yeah, that'd be pretty yeah, cool. Great movies. Well, one last question: This movie, Lazarus, is great. Lots of themes that we talked about. Is yeah. there one message that you want fans to grasp onto? Uh, or a theme that you feel is important for, especially in our world today, which is somewhat relatable to to the story that you want people yeah. to go, okay, this is an important message for sure. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest takeaway from the film is no matter what obstacles you go through in life, um, if you're at your rock bottom, I mean, you can always overcome adversity with your family, with your loved ones. Um, and I think that's very powerful. Um, like, obviously, Aunt Lee and Imogen and Maeve aren't living the most normal life. Um, yeah. But they're in this together as a family. So I think that's um, a big takeaway. I mean, who doesn't want to see a family survive together and have each other's back and over and and overcome all this adversity so yeah i think that's a pretty good message and i mean like you said what's my fortress what's my solitude and lazarus is, is their solitude and i think everyone has a, a place where they feel safe where they feel protected and i guess i kind of shared that earlier i'm a homebody so i think that's a pretty good takeaway as well. Love it. Well, congratulations. Uh, the film will be available for everybody to watch tomorrow, correct? Yes. May yeah, 10th. May 10th. Um, and uh, I've watched it twice. It's really good. It's very fun. It's got mystery. It's got a little bit of humor, a little bit of action. Uh, right. And your co-stars outside of the girls are really good too. I mean, the whole thing is just super smart and very well written. I hope it just makes it to the moon and back. Um, oh, I appreciate actually, that. Me too. Absolutely, man. Thank you for your time. It's an honor chatting with you, and uh, congratulations on a great film. Likewise, Brad. May 10th, Lazarus. Let's do it. Absolutely.